Hi, I'm Cody Randall at Rotary Headquarters in Madison, Indiana. I'm going to show you how to fill and bleed the cylinders in a two-post lift. Bleeding the cylinders helps to ensure the lift will perform properly. We would not recommend running the lift with air in the system. To bleed your cylinder, first fill the power unit with the proper hydraulic fluid. Next, raise the lift up so it is off the ground, right below the first lock. Then, locate the cylinder on the column opposite of the power unit. Place a 5 8 inch wrench on the bleeder screw and place a rag on top to catch excess hydraulic fluid. Slowly open the bleeder. Leave the bleeder open until all the air has escaped. With the wrench, tighten the bleeder once air stops coming out. Next, move to the cylinder on the column with the power unit and repeat the process by placing the wrench on the bleeder screw, covering it with the rag, then opening the bleeder until all the air has escaped from the cylinder. Add additional fluid to the reservoir if fluid is not at the fill line with the lift at its lowest point. Make sure to run the lift up and down a couple times to ensure that the lift is running properly. If the lift jumps or does not rise in a fluid motion, you will need to follow the bleeding procedure again. And if you need any personal assistance, please give us a call.